Hello everyone, this is Daniel and welcome to another video. Uh, today I thought I would show you again two of my little test projects that I'm doing. Uh, so let me very quickly introduce what this is about. So basically what I've done uh, is doing two camera tracking tests and integration um, tests basically for a project that I'll be taking part in in the, in the future. Um, Basically, I wanted to see if I'm able to do it or if there will be any issues, just so I know what I can expect uh, from the result. So this first example was a test f for tracking uh, an object that is really hard to track. You can see the entire surface of this phone is giving us reflections and it was really a challenge, but I think it turned out pretty well. So yeah. I will show you the, the blend files in a moment. Now the other one is more about object integration as realistic as possible. Obviously the cloth isn't as realistic as I wish it would be, uh, but it's not about the physics anyways, it's much more about the colors and I think um, around here I think it is realistic enough to be not noticeable that it is integrated. Um, at least if you don't look at it very closely or if you don't think about why there would be a, something like that in a room or something like that. Um, so let's go to the files. The, the first one here is the phone scene. So you can see I was a bit lazy. I didn't use the features for camera and object as I could here. Um, yeah, all I did was I tracked just this phone as if it was the environment that gives us a camera that moves around like that um, and basically everything that is stationary in the scene is uh, then sticks to the phone. So regarding the tracking uh, I made good use of the planar uh, tracking I think here is it's uh, under perspective and it was pretty cool how, how well this worked actually. So here you can see uh, the track. The center of it sticked very well to the place where it belonged. So that worked out pretty well. Now, as you can see, uh, the, the reflections were quite a quite big, uh, big issue here. And also the motion blur uh, at the end in particular was incredibly strong. So actually quite hard to track. But I was really surprised at how well Blender was able to solve this. Um, so yeah, I was quite successful with that. Now the other file that I want to show you is this one here. And here as well I did make use of the planar tracks, which helped me a lot um, towards the end. And they're just a really interesting concept, I think. And um, I haven't used so many different camera trackers so far but Blender is definitely a great one in my opinion. Now regarding the object integration, uh, what I did was basically I used an, a panorama of of the, the room as environment lightning and then I projected the video onto a plane on the ground as a diffuse texture um, with the window coordinates so that Basically, this floor looks exactly like the floor in this video, which gave me then um, all the um, the bounce light and stuff like that that I wanted at the bottom. I don't, I'm not sure if that really made a big difference, but it helped a bit at least to give uh, give it a realism. Um, anyways, I think also the track here wasn't perfect, uh, really. Uh, I didn't play too much around with all the lens distortion things and such. Um, basically tried to get through all that with uh, just really little amount of work since I am, I'm not going to have lots of time later on as well. But I think it still turned out well. Basically what I did was I made sure to place a marker there at the point where I want to put an object at so that in the end, I could make sure that my object is close to this track, which kind of guarantees me that uh, the object will stick to the ground as good as possible. 
um, at least better than if I would have put it to somewhere uh, like here where the distortion would be very strong and you'd see it drift away from its original position. So these are kind of the things that I kept in mind while working on this. All right, I hope you liked uh, those two videos here again, the two, and thanks as always for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.